Hey guys, it's Jason 28W. And uh, sorry I haven't made a video in a while. I've just been really, really busy. And uh, just had a lot of other things going on. But I um, thought I'd give you guys a little update. I'm working on my Savage here. Um, I took it out a couple of days ago. Uh, and there was some really, really bad grinding and clicking and stuff like that, you know, and I, I don't remember if I said in any, any of my other videos if, um, I described what the, the problem was, but, um, well, hang on, let me put my cigarette out here. Okay. I found out what the problem is, and the problem is, is that is okay, in the front differential, there is, uh, two bearings, and you can actually still see a part of the bearing in there, the sleeve, well, it literally disintegrated inside there, I don't know how well you guys can see that, but there's a piece of it, there's the middle part, and really, really tiny, they're really tiny, but those are the balls, the ball bearings that were in there. Well, that's what's left over. Um, and the bearing is supposed to, well this one's shot too, but it's supposed to be like that. That's the other one that was in there. Just done for. This one was about to do the same thing. Well, here's a better example. Here's a bigger bearing, but that's what it's supposed to look like. See, that one's all nice and beautiful and whatnot. And, but, <laughs> so, I was going to take, I was kind of hoping that these are my bearings for my old wheel bearings, and I was hoping that these were going to fit in there, but they won't. So, I either have to modify the casing, or just let the thing sit until I can order new bearings. Which sucks, because um, I'm going to start beats here, pre-haul, real soon. So I don't know when I'm going to be able to get it fixed. And, yeah, now there's the truck. No front end on it. Really sucks. You know, I, I could put it back together and then just run it two wheel drive. But the last time that I did that, it, it puts too much power to the rear end and uh, takes out fucking uh, drive shafts. So I don't know what I'm going to do here. Uh, look around and see if I have any other type of bearings. If anybody's got any ideas on other bearings that will fit in there, let me know. Because the replacement bearings for this thing, they're like five or six bucks. But, you know, if, if anybody knows where I can find cheaper ones, that'd be great. But, then again, you know, if I put cheap, cheap ones in there, then they're going to probably do the same thing that these are doing. You know, uh, these are the factory bearings, which I guess obviously with them doing that shit, they can't handle um, the power in that of my brushless. So I don't know if I should just go um, hardened ones or ceramic ones or whatever. Or whatever the hell those higher end bearings are called. Um, if anybody has any ideas, let me know. Um, or if anybody knows of any like Traxxas ones that would work in there. Um, whatever this size is here. Um, I think it's uh, eight by. Uh, I don't even remember. It's 
It's a really, really weird number. But um, if anybody could help me with that, I'd appreciate it. Um, other than that, the truck runs fine. Oh, and um, my fiance's truck, um, for some reason, it kept on going through servos. Um, was never a problem up until I bought a ten, a cheapy ten dollar uh, power hobby servo, and th that worked great in it for about a year, and then all of a sudden it just went out, and so I put in a. Let me get to it here. I put in this here. I don't know if you can see it or not. But it is a Futaba S3003. These things cannot freaking handle off-road. So I'm, I'm thinking that these are like airplanes and on-road on -road vehicles and that. Because we went through two of these. So what I did is I just took parts. And I got all these parts and that in here. I took parts from two different servos. I'll go back over here. And I rebuilt the Tower Hobbies one. So now, there's a good servo. So hopefully it lasts. So, other than that, that's about it. Um, I might be putting my E Savage up for sale. Um, I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, if I sell it, it'll be 500 bucks for everything. Ready to run. The only thing that you won't get is a battery and charger. But, um, if I decide to, I will make a detailed video on it and everything. Um, the reason why I'm selling it is just for the simple fact is, is I want, like, a, a truggy or... A short course truck or something like that so I want to get back into two-wheel drive racing so but anyways um, that's about it and uh, I'll make an update another update then once I get it back together alright guys alright well subscribe rate and comment and all that alright peace